Good morning, Southern Idaho. This is Carter at Southern Idaho Landscape Center. Uh, this is kind of our last call. Uh, it's gonna be a beautiful weekend this week. Um, and that means our plants are gonna start waking up here pretty soon. And by waking up, I mean by those buds we see on our trees and on our bushes are gonna start swelling and opening up. And as soon as they start to open up, you're gonna lose valuable uh, time in which you could be doing preventative maintenance for future problems you might run into this season. Uh, specifically, stuff with like aphids, white flies, or some diseases like uh, powdery mildew, other funguses like that. Um, so what we wanted to talk about today was letting you guys know that, you know, uh, it's time to do that dormant spray and kind of go over different types of dormant spray. Maybe you don't even know what dormant spray is. Um, but so let's get started here. So what I have here is essentially dormant sprays from three different brands. Um, pesticides and herbicides, much like a prescription drugs if you're at the drugstore, if you just look at the active ingredients on here, it tells you what's in here. Specifically, this one here is mineral oil. And if you look at these other two, mineral oil is the main ingredient in them as well. It's, it's essentially the same product, it's just from different manufacturers and different ways in which you can apply. Um, so if you just have just maybe one or two plants that aren't very big, you know, something that's already mixed, you can just easily spray with. Something like this works really well. Say you have a couple fruit trees or a couple rose bushes where spraying like this is gonna kill your wrist. That's why we have things like uh, a ready to spray formula. Both of these here, you can just hook up a hose to the end here and then you actually have a nozzle you can adjust to go ahead and spray. And then for those of us that have a lot of trees or a lot of roses or a lot of room to cover, we have concentrated um, concentrates here, which you can mix into a sprayer and then you can apply and it goes much, much longer. Usually the, uh, the rates for dilution on these concentrated ones here, they'll usually just give it to you right here on the label. Most of the time it's about two tablespoons per gallon, but um, it's always best just to follow what the label tells you, of course. Um, neem oil, I'm sure many of us with house plants might be very familiar with neem oil already. Um, neem oil, in fact, if you have some around, it can be used as a dormant spray as well. Um, it's not going to be less effective, say, than our mineral oils here. It's just that typically, you know, you have the neem oil, um, but it's also very effective for when you need to have a contact kill on something like aphids and uh, powdery mildew. Specifically, neem oil is really, really good for powdery mildew, really, really good for uh, aphids. Um, typically, I would opt out for this first and then come back to something like this. Um, the reason why we use oils, the idea is if there's anything overwintering on our plants, say insects or fungus, you're gonna be covering it on the, on the plant and it suffocates it. Um, preventing preventing um, them to reform and uh, wake back up as soon as the season gets open. So moving on from preventative maintenance, um, we're going to move over here to um, our fungicides, our copper and our sulfur here. And what these are specifically for is if you know you had a specific problem with either um, downy mildew or other types of really bad fungus on your fruit trees, on your roses, on your shrubs. Um, typically, I, I recommend stuff like this for folks if they know for sure they had an issue last year and they wanna get on top of it this year. Um, now is the time to go ahead and get on top of that. Um, so if you folks have any other questions that I might've left out on here or you wanna learn more, um, feel free to drop down in the comments, ask a question, we'll get back to you as soon as we can or you can always just stop in. Um, right now we are in our spring hours. We are open eight o'clock to five o'clock, Monday through Friday. And Saturdays we are gonna be open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Thanks.